Christians are searching for answers on how they should deal with some of these issues that we're, we're facing. I think it's good for us to all understand what our rights are and what we can do legally within the realm of the law and still proclaim the gospel. We're living in a darkening world. The light needs to shine brighter. I am very concerned about the future of religious liberty in America. I see it being eroded. I think we need a strong voice for religious liberty because religious liberty is a standard by which societal health can be determined really through the generations. We absolutely do have lots of Christians who have lost their jobs because they're Christian. We have individuals who hesitate to share their faith in the workplace because if they do, they may be ostracized. Students are no longer being taught the Constitution and really a shift in thinking of socialistic, communistic principles that really eroding freedom. It used to be that we would go protest on the sidewalk and things like that and we had the right to do so, but now a lot of activism takes place online and that has replaced the public square. But having that in the hands of a few private business owners is concerning. In California in particular, we seem to be leading the charge to educate our children regarding sexuality that is in complete contrast to our biblical worldview. There are forces out there that will use, I believe, ignorance of people who don't know what the Constitution says and they don't know that America was based on freedom to worship God as we see fit. I've really been encouraged because a lot of times you just don't know all what's going on and I really feel that this is a, a time for this conference where pastors have a chance to find out what's going on, the stuff that you don't hear. This is the third time I've attended uh, this event and I love it. These uh, classes give us the right tools so we don't get the church in trouble, ourselves in trouble. Ministry is a full-time job for me and the more I learn, the better person I can be and do what I do for the kingdom. I think it's time for churches to really stand up and be brave. Um, do not operate in fear, but in confidence that God is in charge. The church has to maintain its integrity of saying, we will hold to our principles, we will hold to uh, what the scripture says. As Martin Luther King said, if the church does not recapture its prophetic zeal, it will become an irrelevant social club without moral or spiritual authority. Uh, we definitely have a role, and that role extends beyond just saying right things. It includes voting, activism, running for office, being involved in lots of different ways to make a difference in our country. We are going to be silenced. And it's our responsibility as Christians to speak up about what we have learned in our Bibles.